Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and Guy Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. We have a lot to cover today and I'm going to do the summary of Luke chapters 1 through 7 and then probably tomorrow I'm going to jump on, maybe later today. And I have a great introduction into the book of Luke. And it has a lot of information about Luke that will help us give a deeper understanding on, about this apostle. So, first of all, wow, I sure am sleepy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is um, trippy. I get up and I go back to sleep, but I wanted to get on here and do this. Thank you for hanging in there with me and being patient. Now, tomorrow is Thursday. So Thursday and Friday, read chapters 8, uh, 8 through 11 tomorrow and 12 through 14 on Friday. And then Friday I will be back on with a summary of chapters 8 through 14. Kind of finding this is a better way to study it because I'm getting a chunk of information all at one time. All right, let's do this review. A large portion of the New Testament was written by Luke. He was an accurate historian, even in the smallest details. Do you remember the show Columbo? One more thing. Um, sir, one more thing. One more thing. Well, Luke was a Columbo in his day. It takes work to dig d deep. And... Luke was a great historian. All right, so we covered birth of John the Baptist, birth of Jesus. Let the Spirit descend like a beautiful dove, like it did on Jesus that day. He was baptized by John in the river of Jordan. And a voice from heaven saying, This is my son. John the Baptist baptized Jesus. And the Spirit did descend upon Jesus. And a voice from heaven saying, This is my son. Then we have Jesus in the temple. John the Baptist prepares the way. Then we have the genealogy of Jesus tracing back through the line of David. Jesus was tested. Jesus was rejected at Nazareth. Jesus heals many people. He calls his first disciples. Jesus eats with sinners. Jesus is Lord over the Sabbath. And the faith of the centurion now the satyrian said there was no there was not such a great a faith in Israel as the centurion. That's a very high compliment, very high. In Luke chapter two, it says to Mary, a sword will pierce through your soul. Now, what that means is many joys and sorrows Mary would experience raising her son and throughout her lifetime. And as mothers, we can understand this. Things we go through with our children, the pain and the sorrow, the joys, all of that wrapped up into one. And Mary pondered many things in her heart, and we should do that too. Now, Later on today, maybe tomorrow, depending on how sleepy I am, I am going to do the introduction into Luke. All right, everyone, my bed is calling me, so you have a most blessed day. Thank you for spending a portion of your day with me again. Thank you so much. Lord willing, I'll be back on Friday. Bye-bye, everyone.